Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutebi was welcomed to the conference venue by a group of young boys dressed in traditional back cloth and waving bows and arrows. They prostrated before him as a sign of reverence. These dancers entertained guests in the traditional way. They were joined by local artist Bobby Wine who sang for the Kabaka. The Kabaka urged the Baganda to use their talents and harness wealth for development. I therefore call upon parents and teachers to identify, to, to try to spot the talents of their children and students so as to enable them to make the right choices of careers to pursue in adult life. The king also asked the people to be innovative and stop looking up to the developed world for solutions to their challenges. He cited business empires that have thrived out of integrity and trust. In a very reference to the proposed law regulating the work of cultural leaders, the Kabaka stressed that traditional institutions must be empowered to help check poverty. I consequently believe that the emasculation of cultural institutions enhances poverty and curtails development. Deputy Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga says linkages should be created between the central government and cultural institutions. We are dealing with the same community and we can help one another. What the central government brings down can be adequately uh, handled by the traditional institutions which are at the bottom with the population and they respect them and understand them because they are part of their community. This year's Buganda conference was dedicated to design solutions to overcome the poverty burden in the region. Isabel Nakiria, NTV, Weekend Edition. <laughs>